drinking, bro. Put down the water and grab a fucking drink. A little bit of Jesse in our booth. A little bit of Jesse in our booth. In advance, I do. do. You do not. You do not apologize. I know. I love it. I love every second of it. So I'm not going to apologize, okay? Look, all the boys are at Freedom Fest, uh, including me. I love that you have to like say that always. It's like, no, 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 no. But I get it. It's a shock to the system. I believe when you come on. Uh, immediately and there was like no, wait there's no other voices I know it would be weird even yeah. if fucking Oprah was on I would be like for sure holy shit this is weird like where's the <laughs> where's the guys like why do you have Oprah on I, well, I would still announce like oh hey everybody uh, guess what uh, the guys are in South Africa on a peace mission. Sorry, we've got Oprah instead. We only have Oprah. Yeah, and, I, and I'm sure, like, I'm I'm still positive the Drinking Bros audience would be like really disappointed. Like, fuck Oprah, for sure, dude. for sure. The well, fuck I like is Oprah done for us. I like the comparison. So You're thank welcome. you. I You're, appreciate I, a it. A lot of people call you the White Oprah on the streets. Uh, I hear it all the time. Yeah, I hear it all the time. By the way, uh, I I had an Oprah moment today. I was just well, I was going to ask you what would you ask her? Oh, uh, what would I ask Oprah? About her, about like, her let's life. say she was just here. Like, what would be the one question that you like want to know? Is it a Gail thing? No, it's not a Gail. I don't want. I don't give a shit about Gail. I'm not a Gail fan. Shit. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not a Gale Force win kind of fan. You know the answer. Right? I would. Uh, no, I'd ask her about the color purple. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What, what's it, what was it like being playing a slave? Like somebody's, you know, a billionaire playing a slave. Like yeah. Like what, how, what, how, how did you get into that? Yeah, character, yeah, yeah. It's really. like, and, and she won the Oscar for it. So yeah. I would ask her, yeah. like, hey, that was either the greatest performance of all time. <laughs> yeah, you should have. Or won. yeah, yeah. Or yeah. Uh, how much did you pay for that Oscar? No, um, sorry, I no, cut I, you I, off. What What was your op- You, I can't even wait to hear the. The Oprah moment. I had an Oprah moment today. today. I had an Oprah moment today. I saw somebody with such immense joy. uh, Like Oprah always talks about find your joy in the day. Sure, live your truth. Yeah, live your truth. I saw somebody living their truth today (laughs) when I came out of the gym. Ironically, there's a McDonald's right next to my gym. And oh, so horrible. right when I'm pulling out, it's it's right around six, you know, six fifteen, kind of rush hour ish. Uh, sure. People are either going to the gym after work or they're going to McDonald's to grab food after work. One of the two, or they're going to the gym and then stuffing their face with McDonald's and just exactly. canceling out the whole thing. One hundred percent, which I've done before. Done it. Uh, so I, I looked at this woman who was head on with me. We were waiting for this light to change. And she was kind of at an angle. I couldn't get in, so I, I was, you know, forced to essentially stare at her. Okay. I watched her turn into the lane very okay. slowly, stop behind this car, realizing it was a long light because we were about to get on this highway. So it was, a, it was a longer light. She knew it. I knew it. Okay. Uh, and then she, she was, she was an overweight gal. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Okay. Um, but Thank if you. this, if this helps you with part of the story, sure. Uh, I'm, you're I painting see her, a picture for sure. I see her reach into the bag, uh, pull out a double QP with G. Uh, which God. is one of my faves. You oh know my that. God. It's, oh, it's a fam you know fave. That. It's our yeah. fam. I mean, we're a QP fam. Yeah, she she peeled it off like like she was peeling off the diaper of a newborn. You know that wrapper, and just <laughs> sunk her teeth into this double QP. Not a care in the world. And I'm I'm oh. staring at her, and I wanted her to have that joy because I didn't want her. To notice me staring at her. Sure. And then like, oh my God, I don't want to take her power away, her QP power away. So I was just like, oh, oh shit. How awkward would that eye contact I know, because then be? she would like, because you know, you know, she would immediately put it down. I, like, For sure. And I saw that this was her moment. I wasn't going to yeah, take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is her one shining moment. She looked around. I yeah. guarantee you she, she looked had around. A, she had a Suburban. She had a two, there was two empty uh, car seats in the back. Ooh, uh, so I the kids know. weren't there. Oh. This was her moment to herself. Oh, God. There was probably a Dell on in the car. I, oh. What hello from the other side? So I I, I let like her have that moment, and and I'm gonna be honest with you. In that moment, I felt complete and utter jealousy of this woman. Of like, holy shit, she oh is God. she is just diving into this immense joy. Like it, it was like Michael Phelps diving into the the pool for the first you know first time of the Olympics. You were like, oh man, it was that powerful back for you, in the huh? game. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, oh fuck. And I I just I saw that twinkle in her eyes, and I wasn't gonna take it from her. So I did. Sure. I looked away. Sure. I looked away after that, but, sure. but that moment jealousy, lived with me. Yeah, is the jealousy because we're eating uh, rice cakes and and morsels uh, of lima beans or? No, where, where does it come from? We're, we're, we're eating healthy, but 
you know, j- just more or less to to, to, to have be in something shape. like that. Yeah, to be in shape. So 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 you 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 can dive in like that. Yeah. yeah I don't yeah. know where that jealousy comes from. Okay. Uh, look, okay. Y- you know me. If I could eat double QPs with oh my cheese, god, we do it every day, both every of us. single day, every day, every single day. Uh, I would love it. it, it the, the the real struggle, hashtag real struggle is uh, <laughs> oh holding back and not yeah. succumbing to that. Oh, it's very very true. We oh love- man, we look, we got off on a on a, whoa, on a whoa, crazy whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, crazy rant easy. here. In it's the meantime, a McDonald's, a McDonald's welcome, rant. welcome Thank to Drinking Bros. You. Welcome guys. Uh, man, I wish I wish McDonald's was a sponsor. I mean, I think I just fuck even hearing that story back in my mind that I just told. I I, I think. That's well worth its weight in gold. Um, <laughs> or AU, if you guys have a periodic chart in front of you, that's the symbol for it. Um, Come back, buddy. Come back. You're going off Well, the look, rails. look, we do have sponsors. Uh, and, and they are, look, they're just as enjoyable as McDonald's, obviously. I agree. Um, by the way, I, I, dude, real quick before we dive into the sponsors, I got OJ Simpson's phone number uh, to the Drinking Bros podcast page. We're going to call OJ Simpson tonight. Yeah, so wait, you you said you had it, but you had never called it. I hadn't called it. I totally for, I spaced on it. We get so many messages on the Drinking Bros podcast page. I spaced on it, and then I went back to it. And I was like, oh fuck, is should this we, OJ's number? Should we try it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I so am so like afterwards, sweating. Afterwards, we'll, we'll we'll make the call live on air, and, and oh we'll do God, that. Oh but God, after God. the sponsors, okay. uh, it's not like he's going to answer. But no, I'm but, still but look, nervous. now everybody's got to listen to the sponsors because if they want to, if they want to get to this OJ Simpson call, yeah, like like if, like if he fucking answers the first one. Look, Nicole Brown Simpson and, and Ronald Goldman. Can you use this? It's Havenlock.com. Uh, Havenlock, when you lock your doors at night, what goes through your head? It only takes three kicks to get through a door with a locked deadbolt. Are you really that safe? Is your family that safe? I doubt it. Haven Mech is a new door lock that is 10 times stronger than a deadbolt. Haven Mech will take over 50 kicks without failing. And that's from Bruce Lee. Uh, that's from Greg Zerline, the the kicker of the, the the Los Angeles Rams. They call him Legatron. Heard he's got the strongest leg in the game. Even he couldn't get through this door in 50 kicks. Uh, get a Haven mech. It prevents you from break-ins from happening. Use the promo code DRINKINBROS. Uh, and you get a special one-time offer of the Haven Mac for 99 bucks. That's it, dude. We have it. We love that shit. Oh, it Nobody's, works. We, we've well, kicked it a few times, but... We tried, but I mean, yeah, we weren't yeah, going to yeah. go too hard. I wasn't going to go too deep. I don't yeah, yeah, yeah. break down my door, obviously. But I feel I'm stronger super than, safe. I'm, I'm stronger than most men, so it's like, yeah, <clears> I didn't want to <throat> even risk that. <clears throat> uh, Haven Lock was, uh, is, is completely veteran-owned. Uh, they were started with a Kickstarter campaign. They raised over 100 grand in 2014. Now they're fucking everywhere. Um... Haven Mac is everywhere. Go to havenlock.com. Get yourself a fucking new deadbolt. Uh, while you're there, uh, online, on the interwebs, on the www, uh, if somebody does come through that fucking lock, uh, make sure you're stocked up. Uh, go to tartarusordnance.com. That's T A R T A R U S O R D N A N C E.com. Uh, for all your home defense ammunition needs, uh, look, they got everything. They got they got ammo. Uh, they got firearms. They're a licensed arms dealer, uh, which was ironically my nickname in college. Um, whenever <laughs> baby I baby arm dealer. No, yeah, yeah, I was a baby <laughs> arm dealer. Um, so we have that in common. Uh, Tartarsordnance.com. They're also uh, here's the rad thing about them for for tactical classes. They sell they sell bullets by the the thousands. Um, yeah, I heard and they've about got this a, in the last one. Yeah, they've got a subscription. and uh, But here's the thing. So if you type in the promo code Drinker Bros, you get 10% off. And that's including everything. That's including guns. That's including ammo. Uh, if you order 50,000 rounds of, of shit for a tactical class, if you're teaching somewhere, yeah. you still get the 10% off. I wouldn't do that, but they, they are. Tartarus Ordnance is doing that. All right, I get it now. Yeah. Like I get, not that I didn't They're get it before, rad. but I fucking get it now. Yeah, hell yeah, you get it now. Um, you better fucking learn. Yeah, yeah. You bet, you, oh, you better learn, Trey. Oh, you gonna learn. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's, that's a little reference from Boys in the Hood. And uh, look, I'll be honest with you. For those Boys in the Hood fans, I, I think Ricky would have would have lived had he had some strike force oh, energy. Oh, man. Woo! Ricky! Woo! 
Uh, man, I still think when he was shot, if he was a little quicker off that draw instead of sc- scratching that lotto ticket, if oh. he was taking some strike force energy instead of uh, scratching that oh, lotto man. ticket, he'd be focused, still be he'd with be, us today. Yeah, he would have gotten that scholarship to USC. That's also true. Uh, so go to strikeforceenergy.com for the tastiest, tiniest little energy drink on the planet. Uh, they've also got a, a hundred serving fucking, uh, uh, looks like a, like a huge huge goddamn uh, water bottle full of it uh it's for for bars it squirts oh, oh, okay, right okay, into okay. a drink it has like a pump on it yeah it's got a pump on it you can buy that style? yeah starbucks style Ooh, i want one baller i, I, I want know. one dude they're a sponsor and I, I don't even have one of those fucking things yet um but go to strikeforceenergy.com uh they ship anywhere in the world uh, and type in the promo code Drinking Bros. You get twenty percent off of everything. Uh, we have a subscription though, so we get it to the house all the time. But I still want that bottle that pumps into shit. Yeah, I, we're gonna have to figure out how to get that. Yeah, not that that wouldn't be addicting. Holy <laughs> shit! Oh my god! Shit. Maybe actually we shouldn't get it. Man, because if that was on the kitchen <laughs> like, table, yeah, squirt. Yeah, yeah. Every time you squirt, squirt. Oh, just like passing by. Oh, I'll just get a half. Of, oh I would my god! Squirt it every single time. I would squirt it every single time. I would. I would. Uh, next up, we got. Uh, we got, oh boy, boy do I love the Warfighter tobacco. Right after Hurricane Matthew ended, sat on the back porch, smoked myself a Warfighter tobacco cigar. You deserved it. I did. I earned it. I fought, I fought a hurricane myself and oh uh, I won. I won. So I will never hear the end. To the victor goes the spoils. And uh, <laughs> I had a, a Warfighter tobacco cigar. Uh, WarfighterTobacco.com. They're the finest cigars in the land. They're made with Cuba. Cubano seeds? Am I am I saying that correctly? Oh, Cubano? C- Cubano. Cubano seeds, uh, hand-rolled in the Dominican Republic. Um, look, if, from I don't want to say that they're they're made from the, the, the fingers of, of eight-year-old children, but they probably are. Yeah, you don't want to say it, but you can, but you they can, probably you are. can say it with your eyes. That's how fine these cigars are. Mm-hmm. And uh, they make these goddamn things like their life depends on it. Uh, so that's how you know they're good. So if you smoke them, uh, you can almost you can almost taste the the richness of the culture. Uh, there, the a little war, bit. Of- yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mambo number, number five. five. Uh, go to warfightertobacco.com. Get yourself some cigars. Uh, they're uh, they're they're 100 combat veteran veteran owned, uh, which we love. And yes. uh, type in the promo code Drinking Bros. You get 10 percent off of uh, all cigars and uh, all boxes. There, uh, we love Warfighter. Uh, last but not least, we we, we got a fine novel from the greatest uh, artiste of our or this generation, uh, ours or or any generation. Any. any. His name is Ross Michael Patterson. A uh, he's a, a genius, a gift to this world, uh, a, a boy. You know. This, Glad to know him. Yeah, we're, we're 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 lucky that he's alive. Happy to call him a friend. Yeah. Uh, rumor has it he wrote the entire book by candlelight with a quill. Um, just I like will the decor, just like. Deny. Ben Franklin and the Declaration of Independence. I hear you. I can't even get that out. I know. That's how excited I am about it. Night she cries while he rides his steed. The finest piece of literature ever written. The first ever romance novel for dudes. It's available everywhere now. Uh, It's available on Amazon.com, Barnes & Noble, all that shit. Uh, Every bookstore there is. Uh, It's also on Audible. And I, I do the voice. Um, so, So go pick up a copy of A Night She Cries While He Rides His Steed. Just you? Uh no, I, I believe I believe you're on there as well. I and might do a there's, there's a whole team of, of actors the... that are on there. Whole team, yes. yeah, yes, bunch of people are on there. It's the first, it's the first number one done by like a whole group of actors, you know. Um, mm-hmm. so go ahead, go ahead and pick that up. Uh, last but not least, uh, and I know I said that before, but I lied on this one, but it's because no it's liar. ours. It's because it's ours. Drinking Bros Podcast. Yeah. Go to drinkingbrospodcast.com. Get it's yourself some fine ass teas. Uh, we're also selling France presses. Um, we, we got some dope shit in the store. I wear these goddamn t shirts all the time. I love them. Oh, God. You know who I might send one to? <gasps> OJ Simpson. Uh, uh, let's see. I wasn't lying at the top of the show, kids, when I said I was uh, okay, we're gonna a police this? officer. Uh, I'll give a quick backstory. A police okay. officer uh, emailed into the podcast page, Drinking Bros Podcast uh, page on Facebook, and said, I have OJ Simpson's last working number. Okay. Uh, I thought it was cool, but like we get again hundreds of messages a day, so like yeah, yeah. kind of scanned over it, and I was like, Meh, wait a minute, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back and see if this really yeah. is OJ Simpson's number. So I figured we will call oh it on the show. Oh my god! 
and see if it's real. Uh, I'm like, I'm like sweating. I know, like, I feel weird press because I'm about to press the button now on the phone. I know, I know, but like, it's obviously okay. He's not gonna answer, right? I, mean, I know, listen, but that's I, the like. I've seen that's the, the first thing up, that went through my mind. They get they get cell phones in there. They oh, get yeah. burners. Yeah, they get they're burners. They're in for a long time. I don't know. And I will say this: I'm I'm from LA. This is an LA number. Uh, we. We both have LA numbers, so like uh, this legit. could be completely plausible here. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna call him right now, man. Why am I so nervous here? I know your hands are shaking. I know. <laughs> oh my god! Oh fuck! <sighs> why is it ringing so many times? I don't know. Like, why is it still on? I don't know. I don't why know. isn't it like doo doo doo? Oh my god! Okay, I feel real. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Sorry. Hello, this is yours truly. Unfortunately, I'm unavailable. I'm leaving a name and a message and a number, and I'll get back to you. Adios. Do we leave a message? No, no, no. Let's leave a message. I mean, we're drinking bros. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Juice, it's uh, Drinking Bros in case this is your real number. Uh, Or if someone's checking it. Yeah, it's the Drinker Bros podcast. Uh, Jared Taylor wore, Loves you. wore a signed jersey to the premiere of Range 15. Just uh, wanted to let you know that. Yeah. We got to go. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy shit. Whoa. whoa. Dude, that, I'm gonna, that sounds legit. It That, hey, it sounded like him, right? Well, is somebody paying? I mean. Here, here's the thing. One, it sounds exactly. It's it sounds exactly like him too. It's him. It's absolutely the him. message sounds too personal, like as a phone message of like, oh, this is what you would leave if you were a normal person leaving a yeah. fucking voicemail. Yeah. Adios or you know, sure. whatever the fuck he says. Like <laughs> uh, and he yeah, paused like he it pauses yeah, in his yeah. voice. Does he say adios? Adios. Yeah, I, yeah. Oh, look, we'll, we'll play it back, but uh oh, holy boy. shit. I think that was really him. I liked that. That was an adrenaline rush. Yeah, I know. I think it was him. Now, here's the question. Like, Where does that go? Are they going to call back your I, number? Where does it go? Like, does here, he just keep Here's what I heard. Uh, by, by the way, we weren't even planning on doing this tonight. Um, shit. Uh, before the show started. I think I just fucking interrupted with that. Um, anyways, <laughs> I, I, yeah. Uh, oh hey, by the way, we're just gonna call. Toes. Yeah, we're just gonna call fucking yeah. OJ Simpson. Um, hey Jess, I don't want to forget about it. You know, I forget about shit all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I, I I heard that he he has an office and he's got a a phone working uh, simply for the fact that uh, he thought he was gonna get out of jail much sooner than he was, and he needs money. So I guess he's checking any and all offers. This is gonna. I, I tell you what, this will lead me into a crazier story. A very similar thing happened with Mike Tyson. Uh, did I tell you this story? No. Yeah. So I, uh, range 15, we were, uh, it was a possibility that, that Mike Tyson was going to cameo in the movie. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I I called the casting director and I was like, hey, can you can you tell me what the quote is for for Mike Tyson? Uh, by the way, anybody listening at home, a quote is how, how much you, you make per film. And uh, so uh, they were like, oh, well, you can call yourself. We don't really have to do that for you. And I was like, what? What? And they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, like, here's his number. You can just call him yourself. Like, you he just call Mike. He guy. doesn't really deal with that. So, like, if you want to get oh. him, you can do it. And I was like, what? So, anyways, I, I called. And uh, sure enough, the fucking the phone's ringing exactly like that. And I'm I'm nervous. And I'm like, oh, shit. And I'm like, hello? And uh, he answers, Tyson Residence. And I was Is like, it him? No, it wasn't oh, him. Okay, okay, okay. And I was like, "Oh, uh, hi!" And I was like, "Is Mike Tyson?" Like, I didn't know what to do. So I was like, "Is Mike Tyson there?" And it's his wife, manager. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so yeah. It's, it's his wife. Uh, a guy answered and then gave it to his wife, okay. and then I ended up talking to his wife, and she, I mean, she was extremely pleasant. Um, but I was like, "Hey," she was like, "Great, tell me about the projects." I told him, you know, about the movie and all that stuff, and um, uh, I think we ran, we ended up running like a poll on on. Uh, range 15 militia page and people wanted a different cameo than him so uh i i personally wanted mike tyson yeah and you know maybe in the next one i know i know because <laughs> that 16, would be we, awesome it would be badass yeah but I, it was so strange of like oh hey and but that then the call, other one and it's the the phone ringing yeah. and that's like you're going over things in your mind <laughs> like what if he answers what if it's him i'm gonna I, try and zone for professional even though i'm like totally nervous well the weird thing was is 
I didn't expect him to answer. So like, I was okay, like, so oh, no wasn't. big deal. Kind of yeah, like yeah, the yeah. OJ thing. I was like, Ugh, who cares? We know he's not. I know he's yeah, not yeah, going to yeah. answer, yeah, but yeah. like, uh, maybe like maybe somebody else was. Like, well, that's what it I was thought. Al Cowling's. You know who this <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah. You God know who this it. is. God, God damn, it. damn it. God damn it. Yeah. Yeah. You know who this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like that I like that. Amazing. That would have rocked my my drinking bros would have been like, man, that was planned. But that would have rocked know, my T yeah. and B's off. Oh, if Al Callings oh, answered, yeah. but even so, I would have told him, hey, this is planned. We're gonna talk to fucking AC For and sure. uh, and it's gonna be dope. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I I don't know what I was expecting when I called Mike. T- I was just like, oh, he's not gonna answer. I'll just leave a message. No yeah, big yeah, deal. Yeah. Um, yeah. The other one is uh, Bill Murray's like that. He only oh, he doesn't have it. an agent, manager. I want his whole setup. He only has a lawyer, and the lawyer doesn't take calls. It's yeah. a one eight hundred number. It's a calling service from the early eighties, like when actors used to have calling services in the early eighties. Mm-hmm. You have to leave a voice message, tell him about your project, and then he'll just call you out of nowhere. Yep. And he's done that. Which I think for is fucking amazing. Years and years and years. So if anybody out there's watch watches Bill Murray movies, like one just popped up on Netflix, uh, Rock the Casbah. Yeah, what is that? Exactly, that's that's what you're getting these days because so you don't he just you don't picks know whatever the fuck he wants. Picks whatever he wants. Um, there it's there like, is certain projects where it's like Clooney and those guys will call him, but um, but even even then, then yeah. yeah, it's like you know, I mean, shit. I I saw the the picture that was floating around of of because uh, I guess him and Clooney became boys on that that movie where they were hunting for. If s- you meet Murray. You're gonna be boys with him. I know. He just know. seems like the most fucking amazing guy ever. I know. Right? I know. But but he was wearing. A, so they were on a Fourth of July thing on his boat on, uh, on uh, Lake Cuomo. Oh my God! Yes, and he was wearing. He like, was wearing George Clooney shirt. George Clooney T-shirt with George Clooney on the boat. I mean, that is a boy right there. Uh, man. He's like, awesome. Which one of your friends will like he's awesome. wear a shirt? He's you? awesome. Like, he's awesome. Yeah. He's awesome. Yeah. So I. Uh, Huge props to Bill Murray. That was a weird. That was a weird fucking. I that still feel weird, weird about I mean, that. You're phone feeling call. weird. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe. Okay, we're talking OJ. Yeah, you want to say you so want to talk we, about other, others who were locked up? No, I'd like to give my prediction for the next OJ treatment. You guys. Have been oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, You've yes. been saying right. You've been throwing stuff around. Yes. What's the latest that you guys said? We don't look. You I, don't know because JBR's done. Yeah, it was something Jared, else. I, I will. Jared guessed that one. Um, he did guess that that was gonna be the next big thing. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna give that to. Him. So we'll, we'll give, give we'll give him JBR. Uh, my prediction and my new obsession. Yeah. Is the Menendez brothers guys? Do you remember? Man, I've I've been hearing a lot about them lately. What was what was on about them recently? Um, there. I mean, I think was it oxygen? Oxygen. Yes, is gonna. Do, they just did like a big docu series, like so, like a snapped thing. Okay. Which you know how with the John Bonet, this is how it starts. So sure. They do these little documentaries yeah. because somebody's heard that someone else is. So this is my prediction. Well, this is where it's coming. The from. JBR thing. It was the twenty year. It was a twenty year. So I think yeah. that they all. I, I don't want to say anniversary because it's like that's it's fucked it's up. Like a celebration. But that's what I they know, were calling I know, it. I know. Uh, they were they were calling that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think the Menendez brothers, if memory serves, should be coming up on twenty. Well, their trial was ninety three. Uh, well, I, uh, and it went for went for a while. Yeah, it went for a went, while. Yeah, I, so uh, whatever. I, I I could see that. I just think it might be the next thing. thing. I, I, Do you know I, what I mean? I could, like de- the next, I could definitely it see that. It was the first trial. It was before OJ. It was the first it like, was. big yep. televised. Yeah. Do you remember it at all? Like, I don't. Do you remember I, it, it being too, like uh, fucking crazy? No. I, okay. I, I think it was. It was a little too young for it. it just missed me, I think. Um, okay. But I, I remember everybody, because you're, you're a California girl. Everybody was a big. Yes, because they were Beverly California, Hills. Yeah. They were rich, douchebag, panty waist, motherfucking assholes. Yeah. So I, And I wasn't uh, privy to that whole scene or, you know. Yeah. Um, so I, I didn't really know too much about it. But uh, well, it was what, what was the fucking, like, what was the, what was the, yeah. There was a, a weird, br- one of the brothers was weird. What, well, what happened? they were both weird, right? But one was weirder. And it was like, it kind of divided a nation in that you were like in the camp of they did get molested. And it's justified, or they didn't get molested. That was their defense, and their right? Yes, yeah. because they ended up confessing to this murder that they tried to make look like a mob hit, basically. And they're both gotcha, horrible gotcha, actors, gotcha. Yeah. and they're both awful douchebag. I can't say it enough, motherfuckers. But right. So that was the dividing of the nation, kind of like with the OJ thing. It wasn't a race thing, but it was definitely like it was the beginning of like if you say you're molested, 
that's just it. Yeah, you and pull now, you pull that M card. It's uh, that's 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 as hard as the the, the rape card these days. Yeah, but now they have more evidence. They have more ways of of testing and more psychological tests that they can do. So that is not an end all be all. But at that time, if you said it, that's it. Right. Right. Yeah. But um, little known fact: Lyle clean bald since he was. 14. Lyle Menendez. Lyle Menendez. So when you see the trial, I know you guys, you need to look back at it now in pictures. That's a toupee. Get the fuck out of here. Yes. And people have said it's like an amazing toupee, right? Because did I you even know. think? I, I didn't know until you just said it right now. Okay. Clean bald since he's 14. What? Did um, he have alopecia? I, I'm not really sure what it was. That didn't really come out because they don't. I mean, there are no really pictures of it. There's a couple and now he's in uh jail and well, you can't, clean ball well you because you can't wear a toupee to jail i know that much uh yeah, so during we the learned trial, that from uh yes, yes. who was uh the wall of sound oh guy my God, oh my God. pacino played him on hbo yes specter yes so specter had to come out he had to well when he took that mug shot after yes. he got booked yes uh for for murder after they 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 locked him up and threw away the key they were like hey bro Wig's gone now. And it <laughs> Sorry, was bud. holy shit. Yeah. Underneath there it was like It'd be Mr. Like Burns. Brett Michaels. Yeah. If he had to take off his You think his... Brett Michaels has got a wig? Oh oh he is same bozo ring underneath Shut there. Shut the yes. fuck up. Who when told you was, that? It's it's not anyone that told me. When he remember when he had those like crazy health scare things? Yeah, 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 yeah coma, yeah, yeah. stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. So there's pictures of him. Go look it up now in the hospital. When he wasn't able to wear the bandana and the cowboy hat and the fake hair. Yeah, boy. You're kidding. Not kidding. He's got a bozo man. ring? Got a bozo ring. He's, he's got an a older ring? Gen- he's an older gentleman. Yeah, but he, know, he, yeah. He, yeah. he's not that old. No, but. Is he? Maybe he If is. you're going bald, the, he is at the age where it is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, If you're yeah, going to yeah. go bald, there's an age where yeah, it's yeah, going to happen. It's going downhill then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you're... Anyway. Shit. Anyways. But so... B. So Michaels. Lyle, yeah. Damn it. I know. I went on a Damn little it. tangent. No, but, that's fine. I Look, I'm I, I'm actually fucking curious to know about this. Yes. Yeah, so I'll you tell can, you, you all can, about Yeah, who's... you can spot a good uh, a, a wig. I usually can too, and I'm going to tell you this. When I heard about this in my new obsession and research about him being bald and wearing a toupee in that trial, I was really surprised. And now, like, going back, you're kind of like, okay, but they're rich as fuck, so they get the best of the best of the best. Right. He said he had the best wig. He had the best he had wig, great work. wig work. He yeah. had great, great wig, wig work. Great wig work, yeah. 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 But, yes. you know, it, maybe it kind of plays into why they did this. You're so, like this. Yeah, yeah. But, it, but it, what, is the brother bald? What's his sitch? No, the other brother's fine. Get the fuck Great. out of here. Yeah. Like, he's he's the jock. He's the ladies' man. He's the All right. So Lyle I'm going I'm to say, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this then. Uh, the bald one did it probably. And the brother. For sure was the mastermind, yeah. you think? And then okay. the brother was like, fuck, I got to help my brother out. He's bald. Like, I yeah. feel bad for him. He's bald at 14. Right. I feel bad for his whole sitch. Sure. I'm going to I'm gonna help him out. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to help him out. Now he's in jail for it. Okay, that's your prediction. Yeah. Okay. Bald at 14. He oh, fucking. And he, he I, I would lose my mind. He sucked at the sports that his crazy dad. Now, his dad was an asshole. He didn't do any of those things, but he was a fucking asshole. And so your dad. Did he like, yell at him and make him lose all his hair? No, but he was a controlling motherfucker. So it's like, right. so he's like wanting to be this tennis star. He's clean bald. He's, you know, he's, he's having a, yeah, he's you can move, you can trouble, move faster man. out on the he's, court without hair. Uh, well, I'm just saying, um, 14. 14 without hair is, uh, that is the, the road less traveled. And your um, brother's like fucking badass. Nah, I, like, you know, I've got a weird story about that. I, I went to high school. Fuck! I hope they don't listen to the show. I'm not going to say their names. I'm not, but let's not. I'm not going to say their names. I hope. I hope uh, they don't listen to the show. But uh, one of my friends, okay, uh, he was a shorter gentleman, probably five one. He finished up ooh, at in life, ooh, ooh. Uh, balding, early balder. You knew he was going to be bald. Um, okay. You knew in high school? Yeah, you could see it. Okay, you, okay. you can you yeah, can yeah, yeah. you can see that in some people. Yeah, when you're just like, oh shit. Um and again, 
dance with the one who brought you on that one. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to marry up your high your high school sweetheart at that point. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, um, dude. I'm being honest. I, I'll, and he did. I'll recommend because another buddy of mine was early Balder, and he uh, married his high school sweetheart. Do it and uh, made recommend the right move because mm-hmm. he's clean bald now. Owned it early, living his life. Good, good for them. Uh, but but the other one, not so much. Uh, not only was he early Balder, uh, his parents decided they were gonna adopt this child from Espania. Oh boy. Yeah, from Spain. Uh, the kid fucking looks, grew up and looks like Ronaldo. Um, that guy's unreal, by the way. But oh my yeah, God. Yeah, he shouldn't even count in life. Uh, yeah. Perfect specimen. Stop putting the camera so, on him. Uh, so they fucking, same age. So they were in the same Ooh. grade all through growing up. Uh, they had to do sports together, everything like, and, and again, this, this kid's from fucking Spain. Oh, unbelievable like tan per- perfect unbelievable hair skin. oh yeah yeah chiseled this guy fucking chiseled i never saw him with it without he was he was a shirtless and umbros dude forever and the girls literally were just blacking out on the floor and then you have this you know kind of oh, gimp, gimpish God. trollish brother and sure. and uh man he had to live with that his whole life growing up and like i asked him like, dude, going back to locker room talk from uh, last week's Let's episode. Locker room talk. I asked him in a locker room. Uh, <laughs> I was like, uh, your dick. Yeah, no, but I was like, hey man, I was like, uh, uh, who's that girl? Uh, fuck, I almost said his name. Who's that? Who's that girl? Your brother is dating. As I was like, that girl's that girl's really hot, and he was like, yeah, yeah, she is. He goes, uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, the walls are super thin at my house, and. Uh, I've got to hear him fucking her every single night next to me. And I was just like, oh, oh my God. Oh, boy. And I didn't even was think, that an ex or a crush? I didn't even think like about that? that. I don't know. Of her, oh. But who, like, you, you looked at this girl. This girl was like Margot Robbie. And you're like, sure. dude, who wouldn't? Like, I, everybody got it. And you were just like, holy shit. Uh, right. So not only are you not getting girls, you're balding. Your parents adopted fucking Ronaldo. He's your same age. You've got to live your whole life. He's a superstar athlete. Mm. You're 5'1". You don't get any girls, and now you've got a your 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 adopted stepbrother who's chiseled you out of gold hear through him the wall. having sex all through high school, enjoying the time of his life. Oh boy! And on your family's dime, yeah. You and should be getting all that. Yeah, yeah. That should have been him. That should have been his. Should have been him. Oh, and like man. so so to to tie this story up in a bow. Sure. If if. If, if the ugly one would have committed murder in that family, wouldn't have shocked me. Wouldn't have shocked anybody, I don't think. Cause it, well, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he could have gone and told the judge, like, man. hey, man, look at my fucking brother Dude. they adopted. They judge adopted like, Ronaldo. Off, exonerated. Yeah. Done. Go. 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 Got ya. Yep. Yep. Pay a fine. Uh, court <laughs> fines $200. Yeah. $200. Uh, <laughs> you can pass go. You can get out of jail free. Uh, and to this, oh, that's like, rough, dude. I'm, fr- I'm friends with him to this day, and like, uh, man, look, my thoughts and prayers go out to him. Yeah, um, man. I don't, no, I don't think he's married. You, think he's, you told he's a me great that guy. he's sweet, though. He's a if great it's guy. who I think you're talking about, you uh, told yes, me that yes, he's awesome. Yes, and he's, he's a great like, guy, which is, is an still, amazing feat, actually. Imagine living your whole life underneath Ronaldo's shadow. Like that was uh, Again. On, on accident. They adopted him. It wasn't Again. like you had a kid. Yeah. Like the parents were just like, yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. the Not way it turned out. Sweet. But you adopted yeah, yeah. one from like Spain and then he just accidentally turned out to be like that. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, weird. It's, it's, it's a weird sitch. I, I haven't encountered anything else like it. Uh, but this Menendez brothers thing. It, there's some explanation, you know. I I like where you're going with that. That that explains some things. Yeah, I believe absolutely. So I, that's a theory. If if that works out to be the theory, who knows? And that's cool. And I just and that's my little prediction. I don't know if it's going to come true, but I it's it's my new it's my new thing. It's my yeah. new murder thing. I'm in, guys. Ah, As you know, I love murder. Yeah, you do. You do love a good murder. Uh, I love playoff baseball. I'm glad playoff baseball is back. By the way, I'm into it. Before we started uh, uh, taping tonight, if you will, recording, however you want to call that. Sure. Uh, I was downstairs watching the watching the uh, the old Cubs game. Oh, the old man. Cubs. I is there any go. is there anything better in this world than just crisp the crisp fall air and 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 American baseball? Is there anything more American than a playoff more... baseball? No, unless you're. Pamela Anderson, yeah, and Tommy Lee, 
69ing on an apple pie. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, look that's pretty American. Wrapped in a yeah, wrapped right. in an American. American flag. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty American. And, yeah. and a bald eagle's eating the pie, like, underneath Eating you. the pie, under, yeah. like, trying to Just peck. pecking. Like, as they're, like, the, yeah. the spots open up yeah. t- to the parts of the pie. Sure. You're, you're a baseball fan. You're, you're a Yankees yes. fan. You're a dire I mean, Yankees well, fan. Well, I'm a Yankees fan. I don't know if I'm going to go, you know, totally every single team, every stat, blah, blah, blah. But I'm a Yankees yeah, fan. Yeah, but you're, And I'm yeah. a baseball. I'm a playoff series fan. And the Yankees fan. have been in, in, the, love, yeah, in the playoffs a yes. lot. Well, then I'm lucky. Yeah. A lot. And your dad's yeah. a huge Yankees fan. Yes. And I, that's where it comes from. For yeah. Sure. Did, you, did you guys watch uh, the playoffs together when you guys were growing up? Yes. For sure. Watch the playoffs. You didn't miss them, right? Didn't miss them. We, you know, it was the thing. It was like, you know, my dad's a dad. He doesn't really talk that much. So you bond over certain things that you can. And that's that was one of them for sure. So I love it. Yeah, I did and too. The pl- and the series for sure. Yeah. Is- my, my, uh, do you have a favorite memory by any chance? Uh, I, I mean, besides the one that we went to. Yes, we went to Yankees we game went to, a few weeks ago. Too- Yankees Red Sox. Oh, the the series though in two thousand eleven we went. The, for the mo- for oh, that's the mo- right. Oh my gosh! Holy babe. shit! Yeah, so we, that was we've, an amazing. Thing. We shot a lot on that. Uh, by, by the way, for the audience, we we shot a movie together, which we met on called Fifty K and a Call Girl Love Story. It's a great film. I, I highly recommend it if you want to check it out. But uh, it was a bucket list movie. And in the yes. movie, uh, one of the the items on the bucket list was go to the World Series. That's right. We mm-hmm. went to. Uh, it was, it was Texas Rangers versus Cardinals. St. Louis Cardinals. Yep. Yeah. Holy yep. shit. And it was in Texas. It worked out perfectly for our, I think, for our. I like as a couple, you just name that and like you're the greatest wife of all time. And I don't even, as a dude, I you just didn't I don't, remember. I can't believe I didn't remember. Well, okay. Then besides that, it's the 2000 Subway Series Yankees Mets. Oh, was that uh, was that the one with uh, when Piazza and Piazza Roger Clemens retired. got in that fight? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, that, I think that was Piazza's last game game as well piazza broke his bat it mm-hmm. flew towards clemens mm-hmm. clemens threw the bat at him yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah that mm-hmm. was a big one did you watch that, that with your dad f- yeah and it was my favorite yankees so it was like it was joe tory it was pettit yeah i, li- I like joe tory a lot i mean jeter was mvp that year he was jumping in pimpy the jeter. fucking stands yeah, pimpy jeter so uh, it was memorable in that like we always my dad uh grew up in new york so um, well, Jersey, but he would go to games in New York. Right. That was like where he would go to old Yankee Stadium. Every, look, everybody they, escapes Jersey for New York. They, it's so true. <laughs> you live, in, you live in Jersey because you have to because of money. The last time but. that there was a Subway series, which is, you know, Mets and Yankees, you can take the Subway to whatever, mm-hmm. whatever mm-hmm. Uh, was 1956. From Flushing to the Bronx? Yeah. So that was a huge one where my dad always wanted, like, it's a Subway series. He says it all the time. Like, he just, it's a big yeah. thing in New York. Flushing Meadows. Um, <sighs> yeah. <sighs> well, I, tell uh, me yours. Besides the one that you didn't remember that you went to with your I know. gorgeous wife. I, I know. I can't believe that. I can't, <laughs> no, I can't no. believe I fucking. It's all right. It was lame to I can't believe I goofed it. It was dumb to I can't believe I anyways. cheesed it. I fucking it cheesed fun, it, though. dude. It was fun, That was a blast. Yeah. That was actually a really fun yeah. time that night. Um. Uh, I remember we were, we, I, w- I was extremely tired on that, and we were dragging to go film at the World oh, Series. Boy. And then I was like, we got there, Once and the rush there, of the adrenaline oh, of, yeah. of the crowd, and everybody was amped, and I was like, oh, shit, we're at the World Series. It and was, that was a blast. It was a day. It was day something or other of day after day driving. Yeah, we, I mean, had a lot of, a we, we shot a lot in a row. So yeah. I think that was one where it was like, I was looking forward to it, but it was a brutal day that like... But again, as soon as we walked in, you started lip syncing the Star Spangled Banner. I mean, it all, it was awesome. You know, I, I, uh, my favorite memory actually was with, uh, was with my dad. Uh, this is going to sound strange because I've been to a few World Series. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an Atlanta Braves fan. Of course. Um, also enjoy watching the Cubbies play, but the, the Braves are my, my, uh, my heart. And, uh, we, uh, I've been to, a, I went, I actually went to a Yankees World Series. Um, I believe it was 96. You did? I did. So I saw the Yankees play in, in Atlanta, World Series. Uh, but that was my favorite. My favorite one was my dad. Uh, I believe, I want to say, gosh, I was a kid. It was, it was like, I want to say 91, maybe. Uh, the Braves had never, never been to the World Series in a long, long time. Right. We were terrible for years and years and years and years. We finally make the World Series. And, uh, all of Atlanta was going bug fuck. Like, you know, it was just amazing. Like, when Atlanta the city, goes bug fuck, you, I know. you better watch it. I know. And the you city was electric out. and like uh, everybody was going to watch it at bars. 
because uh, if you if you couldn't get into the game, the tickets were super high. You were going to watch at a bar because you wanted to feel like you were a part of the fans. And you want you want to feel like you were with people. So there was yeah, a, yeah. Our, our local sports bar was this place called TJ's, and uh, so we go into we go into TJ's, and we we're like, hey, are you guys, you know, you're showing the game, and I'm like, yeah, of course we are. And they were like, but but look, it's first come first serve uh, for the tables in here, and it's going to be a madhouse. So you're gonna have to get here like five or six hours early, and and I was a kid. Yeah, okay. I was gonna ask him like you're you're going to a bar. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, I was because they were gonna they were gonna let kids in. Okay, because they, okay. they, they look they serve food. Yeah, it was yeah more yeah. of like a no, wild wings type mm-hmm. of place. I mean, they serve liquor and everything, but but it was more of like a wild wings type of place where they had food and you know nachos and all that stuff and hot okay. dogs and and everything. Full menu, and so Jerry, my my dad, ended up he, he did it. So he went like six hours early, reserved this table for us. Of course he did. Uh, he would. Uh, he's so good like that. He's great like that. So yeah. me and my mom went home. Yeah. Uh, they We came back for the start of the game and then watched the entire game there. Uh, and that was, to, to this day, nothing will ever that. top that memory. And, and it, 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 true to form, by the way, like the bar owner was not lying. There was so many people in there that it, it it felt like you were at a game where you were just like, oh my God, it was so loud. People were cheering so hard and it was just packed like to the gills where it was just like, I can't believe the fire department didn't shut that down and people were going nuts. And uh, to this day, I'll never forget my dad for doing that. And I was like, holy shit. That's awesome. That was awesome. And that's and it, like, and it, that's playoff, that's dads, that's America. Yeah. It's all just like wrapped into one. And yeah. then uh, I was in college, I believe, uh, for the other World Series. And then uh, we got to go to a couple. And, yeah. And that was incredible, obviously. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, But nothing will replace the TJ's one because it was like. Oh, yeah. That no, was the that first time we were perfect. ever good. And, and, and again, like I was a kid. And there is something to it about being a kid. Uh, in a bar where you're like, oh, oh man, yeah. and you're yeah, seeing yeah, yeah. people and it, and it's loud and you're like, oh man, this is, yeah. this is awesome. And you felt like you were a part of something huge going on in the city. And it was, uh, yeah. it was an awesome, fun thing. That's the uh, whole thing. That's yeah. the whole thing of it. And is that the, was, that's the, the weird, you know, camaraderie. Yeah. Of everyone. Where strangers. It's like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Even if you're in your own living room, you can feel other people. And I, and so I get that. Yeah. You can feel other people cheering and the whole energy. Yeah, so my dad, Jerry Lowry. Love you, buddy. Uh, oh, yeah, you did it. A, that was, you did it again. He was would, an awesome move. He, that's totally something and I, But he here's the thing. And now as a parent, like, I would totally do it for my kid, too. Like, if oh, you wanted absolutely. to go see, you know, whatever oh, God, team it was, I, I would I would go and sit at Wild Wings for six hours and, and do whatever. For that damn baby. I, I would be, yeah. I would. I, I will say this. I, I would put on 14 pounds in that six 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 hours. Sure, sure. It's not like you're just going to be yeah, sitting there quietly. No. Yeah, some, yeah, yeah. Eating some salad. Some J poppers, some jalapeno yeah. poppers yeah. in my mouth. Yeah. Um. You know, snorting ranch, but uh, <laughs> I would be there. I would do it. Uh, and you don't get that until you're, you're a father and you're older and you're like, holy shit. Yeah, and then you're like, awesome. oh, okay. I totally understand that. Yeah. Yeah. So it was... Uh, it was a nice thing. Yeah. Uh, the other, by the way, the other, the other story I saw today, which was uh, uh, awesome, because I kind of <laughs> caught this like v- during the game we were watching. There was a, a thing that popped up. Uh, this thing, oh, news at eleven. You know, local Wilmington news breaking oh the hottest stories. Man, um, they kill it. They don't want to talk about you know fucking Hillary Clinton's n- new. new email leak. They want to talk about. Uh, they said there was an online store, and I looked this up, and it's true. There's an online store that got just shredded for carrying a Parisian robbery Kim Kardashian costume kit for love Halloween. It. Uh, love it. Love every single love part every of that story. single part of they that. They had to issue an apology, say they were uh, sorry. Cool. and uh, Another apology for something you don't need to fucking more apologize More pussification for, of yes. shit. Yes. Um, but... Uh, yeah, uh, and it got but it got me to thinking since we have a we have a girl on the show tonight. Like okay. explain this cuz Matt and I have had this fucking conversation probably 30 times. Okay. What is with girls in the fucking slutty Halloween costumes? All Why right. is it the horse holiday of And that was that was actually like a a, a title of one of our episodes once was horse holiday. And we, we talked about this. W- what is with that of like, oh my god, it's Halloween. I've got to dress like a sexy carrot. Right now, no lie, there's there's sexy Harambe costumes. 
uh, for 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 girls. Bought one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, what, what, I don't, what's the craze? What's well, the, what's you know, the thing? it's not it's, Valentine's it's Day. It's actually very, very complicated, and uh, I don't even know if I can sum it up. You're kidding. This. No, we just we all want to be fucking slutty. Why? Why for Halloween? Well, there's certain you got to pick your moments, man. Like, there's so, so some Halloween people that is wanna, your time to shine. There's Halloween. There's what's another? I think it's Halloween. That's it, right? I, uh, Valentine's Day, I would say, is a, a good no, slutty but you're not one. Dre- but you're not dressing you up. You could. You have the option to dress up. That's not a costume holiday. Let's back it up. It's so, not. A, it is. So it's not a costume, costume holiday. But why does the costume make you feel? You can dress up as anything. Why? Why does it always have to be slutty for girls? Is my question. Because we don't get to. Dress, do dress that slutty. in your normal life if you are that you person. Could dress, you could dress like a slut every day. Like Women can dress like sluts every day if they wanted to. Why is no, Halloween... And I don't you think believe, it's because Halloween's like the free pass of like... By the way, I don't believe that that's true. You and could. I don't think... Th- you could, but you don't. You don't. But, but that's what I'm saying. Like, so you could. You don't. And you have the right to. You have the right to, and there's part of you that really honestly... Yeah. You just We want you guys to look at us. We want you to look so that, at us. That's the you thing. want you to we always and I'm going to tell tell the secret. So we always want you to be looking at our tits, not right. our eyes. Right, 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 right. We want you to be looking at our ass as we pass you. Right. And that's that's real and it's a self-esteem thing and it's a sexual thing and it's a primordial thing whatever it may be. But you know, they, they, but, well, we right, this, this live, but we I also live but this we also but we also live for. in society and we right. also don't you know, we want to be moms and we want to be work and keep our jobs. And we also want a, a little bit of an element of, you know, classy. Right. But you still but you still want to be a slutty Harambe like uh, we want Halloween. you to look at us. Okay. And so this is and always now and this, this makes perfect always. sense. And so on this day when everyone else is doing it, it's always like when everyone else is doing it, you can do it. Like if there was something that like girls stopped dressing like sluts and we were going to be the only ones we wouldn't do it but it's our chance everyone else is doing it we can kind of blend in oh well you know and and that's the absolute truth and it may be you know letting you behind the curtain but All right. absolutely hey I, we look, always want it this, we, we these want are the that. answer these are the hard-hitting answers i wanted if you're like Ugh. if there's ever a girl it's like Ugh. he was looking at my tits it's like they were out and you wanted him to. Right. You That's what I think. always want him to. That's what to. I think, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, I'm looking. Yes, I, I'm I with also you. want you to like talking to me, but that's up to me, by the way. That's up to me to have a personality. This is a revolution to, right now, yeah. That's up to me to have a personality to draw you from my boobs that hopefully you like. Right. Up to my face and start right. talking to me. But right. that's that's something that you need to do. Gr- you know, have a skill. Have a little bit of an education. Know how to talk. Grow a personality, yeah. and then you know, I don't know what I was going off on, but anyway, no, that's I what like it all is. of this. We all want to be, we want to be looked at as sluts a little bit, but Look, we also Matt, want you to like talking to us. Matt's not here, but this is a nice Matt rant. I like this. Oh, I like this okay, a lot. Sorry. This is uh, no, sorry. this is exactly I mean, what it should good. be. Okay, I, I, this is the answer I was I was looking for. Uh, well, I didn't know was that was it. true though. No, of course it's true, man. Of right. course it's true. But, right. you know, what happens is the girls that don't have the personality, they end up getting pissed because all you do is have sex with them and then see you later. Yeah. So, you know, if you're a girl with the head on your shoulders, see you, you want to be a Dumpster. see you later doll. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. I'm so so what would you dress up as, as a kid? What was your... Uh... I, was a, I was a pirate many times. I loved being a swashbuckler. You're kidding. No. You were a pirate? I, that was as, your, a, as a kid when yeah. I didn't care about like being a slutty pirate. Yeah, or yeah. sexy or I didn't have any sexuality whatsoever, like kid kid. Yeah. It was pirate a lot of the time. And okay. I love just having the sword and like I even think I like went as a dude pirate. I, I you know, like I just I wanted to fucking go as a Did pirate. Did you do the voice? Did you do a dude voice that, that went with it? <laughs> <laughs> like 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 when he like went to her. people's houses, yeah. Our matey. Because you know we we get kids that come up to to trick or treat to the house and they do like little things in Not character. Enough of them do, by the in way. In character, yeah. Did and did you ever? Yeah, were you oh, talking as oh, a dude for sure? A dude pirate. Oh, for uh, sure. That's great. Oh, I was so annoying. That's great. By the way, I was so annoying. <laughs> Look, there's a lot as of people who are like that for Wait, sure. Wait, but we go to we we go to adult costume parties. Yeah. 
Now, uh, we went last year. I think we'll probably go to another one this year. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, which... which uh, I like Halloween. So do I. I love Halloween. It's, yeah. one, it's one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, but uh, I, I'll never forget, like, every time you go to these fucking parties, there's always, like, two or three people who are in that character the entire night and oh, refuse to break character and like, in a Halloween costume. And, and you're like, accents are hey, like bro. not great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh. like, I get it. You're Bruno tonight, but I don't, yeah. don't want to hear that. Uh, very nice. Like, I don't want to hear that oh, all fucking yeah, no, night no. long. It's no, like, no, no. hey, man, cool. I, it. I get it. I know who you are. Drop it as soon as we do the one introduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. <laughs> but you always run into those who are just like living the part for the night. And you're just like, oh, shit. Uh, yeah. And then I'll get this, this, this one conversation every single year. You know, I was in theater. I oh, could have been an actor. Boy. I'm just like, oh god. You know who won best actor? Don't tell in, me um, your fucking Beverly, story. At Beverly Hills High. It was it you? Eric Menendez. <laughs> <laughs> he was a little actor, and it served him quite well in the trial. And anyway. that's when <laughs> the story comes full circle, kids. No, no, but, uh, I bet uh, he was. He was. He was. Well, I bet he did his own wig work then. Yeah. You know? What are you going to what was your favorite? You uh, oh, a as favorite? a kid, yeah. Well, here's the or thing. an adult or I kinda, anything. Looking back now, um and my mom would help me get ready for for Halloween all the time because I would always oh, put yeah, on I like can't wait to do Jackson. I, yeah, exactly. I I I I would always go in something elaborate with like like a lot of blood and like some latex like very oh, like movie esque shit. Yeah, where it was like very exit to Eden. Exactly. Where it was like it looked like half my face was blown off. Um, there was like so much blood and it was like, um, I, 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 I used to do that every year where it was like this like blood or puke or guts or something. I wanted something that, that kind of looked like, you know, you were from a movie set. Oh no, I love it. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So my mom would there help are those, me. That's a very specific type too. I know. And, yeah, and it's yeah, yeah. like looking back on it now, it's like, oh, all right. You could kind of see. You know, career paths as a child. Yeah, you we wanted like, the production oh. value to be I high. Did. I did. You wanted and like it my to mom be had realistic. to like boil this makeup and like it had to sit for like oh, twenty minutes boy. and then apply it and then you'd put latex on and like oh getting God. it off. And it, yeah, it was, She's it was like a, a lot. special effects makeup that's, artist that's at saying. this point. Yeah. So like like we did that uh, for a long time and then I think it was like maybe sixth or seventh grade once you started getting into girls. Right, same. And there was a girl who was same. just like, uh, we went trick or treating with these these kids in the neighborhood. And there was this girl I liked in like sixth or seventh grade. Yeah. And who is she? What's her name? A yeah, fucking killer. Yeah, I'll, I'll go to her house. A fucking killer. <laughs> no, uh, no. I'll, I'll take some of that tartarus <laughs> ordinance. I'll go to her fucking house. A killer. killer. I, bet, I bet she doesn't have a haven lock on that door. I'll kick that motherfucker. I'll kick that motherfucker. I'll take some triforce. I'll get real fucking focused and I'll kill a bitch. <laughs> so, anyways. Uh, her name is Jamie Levy. Uh, she is uh, wow. married in Alpharetta, probably. Okay. Uh, Alpharetta, Georgia. Uh, no, she's uh, married with kids. Uh, Anyways, great. I saw it, was the age that it was the age. It was the age. And, I, and I, I'll never forget, to... she said She said to me, she was like, that's gross. And I was like, what? This isn't cool? Like, and she was just like, no. BT it is it wasn't. cool. And I was like, yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah. But you don't want to kiss the guy mm-hmm. who's... Got, it looks like half of his face was blown off like Kurt Cobain from a shotgun. You don't want to kiss the girl that has a pirate beard uh, glued to her face, <laughs> do you? So, you know, you start to get... Uh, a touche. <laughs> Arg. No, yeah. we don't want to kiss that girl, right? No, so you're you right. start to like, you're right. you get into, and so you see it. Where it's like, it's the it's the holiday, right? It that is. That you can start to... Yeah, 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 yeah. So what did you do? Were you like... So I, you kind of, at that point, like I remember sixth or seventh grade was the last time. Like that's the that's the year where you're like, you're almost too old to go trick-or-treating. I was taller than the other kids. It was yeah. just kind of... So it kind of just faded out after that. Then we had dances and stuff and like, you right. know, Halloween dance, like and all that stuff at the school. So it kind of faded out after that. But uh, yeah. look, I've shouted out my mom and my dad tonight. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's a big, big episode. Well, for them. they're. They, what, what are you, by, listen, by the way? They yeah. Listen, yeah. So. What, what are you dressing up uh, our son? Tell the audience because this is awesome. Well, listen. So I'm dressing him up as David Bowie. Yes. <laughs> okay, yes. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the same makeup as you did it or as I did on you in the Harambe, we are all Harambe video. Sketch, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. find an orange, like spiky type mullet wig. Uh, I'd be so dope. I'm gonna get a girl's leotard. I'm gonna turn it backwards so it's got that deep V yeah. in the front, yeah. right? Oh, if I God, could find so some good. fur for the shoulders, I mean 
Now go, here's the thing. Go I don't. For it. Is that go mean? It. No, it's not. It's not because it, so he's look, at the still at the age that I can dress him up in things that I want. Him. Yes, because he doesn't know yet. He's not old enough yet. He doesn't want anything. Like he's he doesn't say like oh no 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 yeah he's so, not so, like yeah. oh Spider Man you're or, good to yeah, go. Yeah, and yeah. it's one of those things where I think where if you do this, uh, which you should, that he'll look back on this, you know, 20, 30 years from now and be like oh fuck, I had the coolest parents on the planet. Yeah, who took I the think, time to do me as think, Bowie as a kid yeah. when it was like a lot of parents, you know, you buy a package, you buy a costume in a package, and yeah. then peel it out. It's it's uh, it's still got yeah, it's like cheap iron and like marks doesn't on it. fit yeah. right. So if you can do it, yeah, do it. Oh no, I'm gonna, that would be I'm, legendary. And, and then I, I tell you what, I, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make you do this now, and I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell the audience to go to at st james <laughs> st james on Instagram. Oh, no. Uh, that is at st james st james. Follow me. I, I will put a picture up as our son as David Bowie. Um, I will too. It's from Ziggy Stardust, right? J Blue Eyes. Yeah. Yeah. J J Blue Eyes on, on Instagram. We'll post the pictures up, and that way on October thirty first, you can look and make sure that you you did what you said you were going to do. Yeah. And and to that point too, I I do love a custom. Like go to the thrift store, hunt for all the different pieces. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and never. I don't think I ev- have ever done a store bought. You peel out of the package, crinkled, it, cheap thing. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, all right, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking yeah. forward to it. No, I think well, let's. Uh, awesome. On that note, let's get to the drinking bro of the week. Let's uh, do it. This one was submitted by Jacob Kruger. Um, he says, "I'd like to nominate uh, John Castaneda." For Drink and Bro of the Week, he is a rising prospect in MMA. He trains out of the academy in Minnesota. He has an upcoming Bantamweight title fight later in the week uh, for Combat Americas. He's 11-2 and two and a great fighter as well as a great person. And his last fight in August, he gave up his bonus to his opponent despite winning. How fucking wow. dope is that? Wow. Uh, thanks for submitting that story, Jacob. And uh, to awesome. you and John Castaneda, cheers. 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 Uh, we appreciate you submitting. And again, they can be happy stories like this. So just a buddy who's we cool like or, it. Yeah, like, yeah, it can be in memoriam. It can be whatever you want. Shout out. Uh, we, we appreciate you uh, submitting to the page. Uh, James, this was fun tonight. This was fun. Time Thank flew you. by on this one. Thank you again. I love, love You're being welks. here every time. I'm sorry that uh, Matt's not going to be on Drinking Bros anymore. And, and and again, that kid had a lot of potential. Wow, no, you're going to kill our audience. Uh, I know. they uh, 10 million listeners just yeah. dropped off. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm just joking. Thank Matt you. Matt will be back. Thank you. Uh, Matt, Rocco, and the boys. They everybody's will, of back. Of course, um, they'll be back, guys. And uh, yeah, this was, this was awesome. But uh, thank you. And uh, yeah. Thank you. Go to drinkingbrospodcast.com for all your tea needs. And, do it, do uh, it. Grab, your, grab some t-shirts. Support the show. A little bit of drinking, bro. In my life. <laughs> okay, good night. Okay. Good night, everyone. Okay, okay. Good night. <laughs>